July 31st, 2014, was when Rebel Nation was first introduced to the Moore family. <laughs> With their bubbly smiles, dance moves, and lovable family banter, it was easy to fall in love with them. But when they allowed the season to capture a tender family moment, it became almost impossible not to be in their corner. Heavenly Father, we come today to say thank you. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for giving us traveling days. Oh, Heavenly Father, we ask that you will look over the twins that they're all in school, oh, Heavenly Father. We ask that you will shield them from all harm and danger. Oh, Heavenly Father, we just thank you for this opportunity. We ask that you will bless the twins, bless the staff, bless this school, oh, Heavenly Father. In the blessed name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. 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 Well, we are a, uh, a God-fearing family. So when we're not there to protect them, God got them. We just was asking God just to keep them, bless the, the school, bless them, bless the things that they're trying to do. Hey, mama proud. Yeah, man. We right. already have. Let's make it happen. Yeah. Let's get Let's go out there and take somebody to position. Love you, man. Love y'all, twin. Love you, twin. All right. Bye, y'all. Be careful. All right. Love you, too. It was kind of a sad moment because mom had started crying and stuff, getting everybody mushy gushy and stuff. But uh, it was it was the next chapter in our life, and we know we had to. We were up there to take care of business, and that's what we've been trying to do this whole time, just trying to make them proud. Alvin and Calvin had Ole Miss seen double. Their transparency was a breath of fresh air. The 2014 Rebel Squad opened their season with Boise State in the Georgia Dome, and in that hotel room. Five simple words became so much more. What's up, man? What's up, Dad? What's up, man? How was how was your flight? It was crazy, man. Like when we went through the clouds, the plane started shaking on me, so I got a little nervous. But it was it was tight though. My ears didn't pop. Now y'all got down with. Now you ready to be uh in a big game? Oh yes, sir. I'm gonna hit something. Hey man, hey, y'all let's do it, man. Wait, what time we show here? We show up to show out. All right, hey, we done showed up. Yes, sir. Show out. We got, I got you. you. Love you, too. I love you, too, man. Love, love you, Ma. All right, we'll holler at y'all. It all started in high school when we went from camp to camp. Uh, that's just one thing that we kind of, that was our motto. If I bring you way up to Memphis, Tennessee, to San Antonio, Texas, wherever we go, we're going to show up to show out. We, not, we may not be five-star players like some of the other guys out there, but whenever we hit the field, we'll let our work ethics and let uh, what we do is speak for ourselves. It wasn't long before this simple phrase began to gain popularity. Go back to the ball too, baby. What hey, you think about that? Man, it's going to be my first home game. Walk with the champions. going to be crazy. I already know. It's going to be crazy. Hey, what's, what's, hey, what's the motto? What's the motto is show up to show out. <laughs> It was cool because that's how people, a lot of people, you know, recognize them and know them. You know, show up to show out. You know, we were walking through the crowd, like he says. The guys kind of tease us because they say we're famous because of the show up, show out deal, but I mean, that's us. That's the plan every time. Every time we go out on the field, we show up to show out. It's a daunting task to work your way up an SEC depth chart. The twins would start by carving out a niche on special teams and showing out on kickoff team, a.k.a. Hammer Squad. Hey, Hammer Squad finna go stoop. Finna go stoop. They not gonna mess with Hammer tonight. That Hammer for real, man. You don't play with that old man Hammer Squad. And it's a nice high deep kick taken by Drake. He comes in the middle of the field at 10, the 15, upended and dropped. The ball's on the ground. The ball's on the ground. The Rebels claim they have it at the 17-yard line, and they do. That's how you spot the guy. I'm ready now. That's how you spot ready now. And it's going to be right at the goal line and taken there. And the ball comes out. The Rebels say they have it. Did it come out before? Yes, Ole Miss at the 19. A.J. Moore, who recovered the fumble on the opening kickoff, he forced this one. Hey, they hit that boy. Man, that's him. Man, that's him. That's him. Oh! Grabbed at the four, bringing it back up as Holloway, and Holloway is hammered. Oh! Oh! 
A.J. Moore, one of the Moore twins, a sophomore from Bassfield, Mississippi, on the stick. Uh, they, they show up to show out. You know, they they uh, they're just they're just fun to be around. I call them two batteries, plus and minus. Energy. They're gonna bring it every day. They bring the best out of us every day. It's a hundred percent, a hundred percent of the time. Coming at six thirty runs, they would both come from the same door, running in there, screaming, "Oh, it's time to work! It's time to work!" Hey, 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 hey. Hey, no. Me and AJ against AJ and DK. You know the twins gonna win it. I know you saw it. I know you saw it. I had his ties good and hot. He left the line well. We got us a win. DK, tie me up. I got him. Tie me up. Tie me up. Pull it, CJ. Tie me up. All right, <laughs> Oh, they love the game of football, love to compete, uh, love to lead. Um, you know, I wish we had a, a team of guys with that type of attitude that they bring and possess every single day. I don't think those young men ever have a bad day. So it's great to be around those kind of guys. And those are the guys you wake up every day wanting to have an opportunity to coach. Let's go get it. Ah! I promise we're getting to that ball. Yeah! Ball. Yeah! Good job, boy. Good job. Hey, hey, you ain't gave me an outright all day and you on the wrong one. <laughs> Damn boy, don't listen. Ooh, 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 ooh. I'm honored. Me and AJ, we're inseparable. And um, when we're together, it's always a lot of laughs, a lot of fun, a lot of energy. We just try to bring a lot of enthusiasm to the team and, you know, just spread the love. Go time, let's eat, land short D, it's time to go to work. Those are two guys you need on your team. When uh, when things are going bad, not too many people are talking, but those guys are the ones that's gonna, you know, keep everybody up, keep everybody's energy flowing. And uh, when things are going good, they get even louder. Ah! He's so nice. Sauce, so sauce, Sebastian. We have showed up. We're showing out, but it's not over. Wilkins runs over a dog to the 30 and down to the 25. Hey, Big boy stuff on That's Coach Jack. That's Coach Jack. We Jack built. We country built. We Jack built. We go finish. We Jack built. We're Jack built. Jack built. Jack built. Jack built. We Jack built. Weight room. Jack built. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hey, trainer. Dang. To the midnight train going down. If there's one thing for sure, it's that the Moore twins will never stop believing and that they are undoubtedly and unapologetically from the country. Hey, you gotta do that for the country. Yeah! For the country! Who said I wasn't gonna pick it up? I'm a bad man from the country. You ain't gonna hit nobody. I'm gonna see that country come out, huh? I'm gonna see that country come out, huh? Man, it's your boy A. It's your boy C. We scrape from the country, man. All we know is work, bro. It's chicken, bro. Uh, we have a commercial chicken farm. The company who we grow is for, they provide the chicken and the feeds. When they're born, they, they bring them to us, and they're little babies, like little puff balls. And uh, we grow them up for like 35 days, and then they're like some four pound birds. Once we keep them 35 days, they go to the plant, and you can pick them up at Popeyes. About 10 years from now, they're going to be like Duck Dynasty. Man. Have their own hunting show. They're going to have a chicken show. What daddy say about them chickens, bro? We got some more coming in Friday. No. What's they boneless? Or they, got, they got wings? They boneless. <laughs> <laughs> well, first of all, there's a bunch of guys on the team that say they're country and they're from the country. But, like, I have to, like, sit them straight. Like, they're not really from the country until they come to Bassfield, Mississippi. We get dirty down here, man. It's, it's always fun. We make our own fun. People will be like, man, y'all in the middle of nowhere. It's just woods, no buildings or nothing, but we always find something to do. It's always something to do in the country. Uh, got some horses back here. Uh, probably gonna do a little mud riding back here later. We just cut some timber over there. That's why it's thin over there, so that's a clear cut. Right here you got black gear. This black gear right here. It's never ending, uh, it's, it's on the farm. 
on the farm, it's work to do every day. It's different work. You never get done. You just move on to something else. No, any person would get out there and, you know, just, they wouldn't be able to do that. Just because it's so nasty and smelly. I mean, it just, it takes a special person. Hey, watch that hole right now. Ah! Hey, it's your boy, hey. We done gave y'all a little glimpse of the little country life, the little farm life. Now it's time to get a muddy real quick. We're gonna show y'all what we do. Ooh! Ooh! Yes, sir! <laughs> yeah! Yeah! What the got going on? Trying to spin. Now you gotta see! I can't get it up. Yeah. Let me get in. Y'all ain't gotta go home, but y'all gotta get out of here. But remember, show up to show out.